I know what you're thinking. Oh, great. That's exactly what we need. Another affordable guitar pedal review. But you know what? Sometimes I just can't help but think that we're getting scammed by some of these companies on these more exotic effects pedals. And by that, I mean those effects pedals that we don't always need, we don't always use, but are always cool to have. Having said that, today we're going to review the Sonic Cake Octomer pedal. So that little tune at the beginning of the track was a little exotic and I really wanted just to show that this can be used in a more versatile way than your traditional kind of octave down rock riffs. And I've got to say, especially with a bit of distortion, I'm running through my Friedman IRX on the Dirty channel. And if you blend those two octave dials, and this is the kind of sound that you get, and I've got to say, I really love this sound. <laughs> got that real cool almost jack white thing to it that really cool alternative rock the double tracking of the notes is not great you can probably hear it here but playing single notes it sounds fantastic and you could even do something like this So a lot of people have also been asking whether this can be used to kind of mimic a bass. In the intro track that you heard at the beginning of the video, that's exactly what I did. I took the two octave down parameter completely to zero and boosted the one octave down knob to the max and then just blended it almost where it's just the process signal. And I use that as almost a base for the track. And um, I played very melodically over the track just to kind of add a little bit of flavor. And it sounds quite realistic. Obviously, the tracking is a bit off in some places, as you'd expect. But these are some of kind of the lines that I was playing. So it sounds decent in a full mix. Probably not going to be the most authentic bass sounds to it, but at a pinch, you can kind of do it. So on the clean channel, if we first start putting the one octave down setting around 12 o'clock, and this is the kind of sound you'd expect. <laughs> So it, it tracks pretty well at that point, but I think when things start getting a bit hairy is when you put the kind of blend more towards just the dirty affected signal. At that stage, still quite good, but then if you want to add a bit more definition, I kind of like this sound a lot better. Okay, so let's move on to the dirt, because that's what we all like is dirt. So straight in there, this is where the two octave down sounds really cool, is when you pile on the distortion. It sounds really, really cool. Let's blend a little, little bit more of our direct sound, and this is what it sounds like.
Okay, guys, let's wrap this up. What do I think about the Sonic Ake Octaver? I actually really like it. Super fun pedal to play. We've got to just obviously mention the fact that it is dirt cheap. Like all these mini pedals in the Sonic Ake catalog, this one is no exception. It's super affordable. I think, if I'm not mistaken, it's around 30 bucks. It's even on sale now on Amazon. So definitely go check it out. Link is below somewhere. It sounds great, especially for those single riff melodies. It's very practical because you can just put it in your pocket and bring it to a gig or the rehearsal studio. At the same time though, all of these pedals by Sonic Cake are really well built. They feel great, they are sturdy. You can put it, despite it being teeny, on your pedal board and you can be sure that it's not gonna fall to bits within the first five minutes. So really good on that side as always. Loads of fun to play. Obviously on the other side, we mentioned this during the review, we have to just put it out there that the kind of tracking is a bit all over the place. It can get a bit hairy sometimes, especially if you do more sustained notes or if you do obviously more than one note, the tracking isn't the best I've seen. So you need to kind of adjust your playing, especially if the blend dial is all the way down. You just need to be aware of that when you play. It also can be a bit too wild. It's not the most subtle of effects, although I tried in the intro track to make it as subtle as possible, but you know, that's what an Octaver does. But overall, just to wrap it up, I think the Sonic Egg Octaver is a really super fun pedal. Obviously it's not perfect, but what the hell do you expect for 30 bucks or even less than 30 bucks? Come on guys, you are getting the really cool octave sounds you don't have to spend the fortune even if you use it three times four times at a gig or just you need a song that just has it just bloody hell buy this use it and every once in a while take it out and use it again it's a really fun and good pedal i regularly use the sonic cake pedals in both my live gigs and recording because they're just a decent quality for a good price and when you're looking for something that is not your basic staple sound then you don't want to spend 300 pounds on it or 300 bucks whatever your currency is you want to just have something cheap that you can use once or twice and then not feel guilty about it just gathering dust and that's exactly what it is it's not a kind of landfill product and i hate that bloody word you can use it in a number of different ways and it actually does sound very very good and it's you know solid well built it's not plastic it's a really good honest guitar pedal so i'll put as usual all the links down below thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate it i hope you guys enjoyed this fun little pedal as always let me know in the comments do you like it do you like the sonic Egg mini pedals i think they're really awesome but let me know and thank you as always for watching really do appreciate it keep smashing that subscribe button and be nice to each other peace out